Hey, K Nuanza Audio Cat here, man, with another beautiful day at the shop, man. We got a couple little different projects going on. I'm gonna introduce you to some of these cars that we're working on. We got this beautiful yellow one that just came in. It's a Smiley car, beautiful Hemi, Daytona Series Charger. We're gonna be doing some overlays. This is Instagram, you can hit them up. It's hsmiley, h underscore smiley 345, man. We got a beautiful Daytona. We're gonna be getting these regular headlights you see back here, removing the badges from the back of it, and making it have a design in the back. So y'all gonna stay tuned if we get the process going and what we're gonna be doing to her to make it right and make it perfect. But I wanna bring you out to something else. We got this car, we did some DLRs on it a while back and he's having a problem with moisture coming into the headlight. So after inspecting this whole build, uh, we noticed inside this headlight, y'all can't see it on the camera, there's a little drip back there, little filters that allow air inside. They're leaking water inside because he has no wheel well, as you can see here. So we notified the customer and told him, listen, man, this is the problem you're having. He could try to find it, but the parts are $400 in the dealership. He really didn't have the money to buy those uh, wheel wells, but it's kind of what's going on with the moisture coming in there. We're gonna get that one together and show you what's happening there. We also got the beautiful other Mopar that came in, 3.6 liter VVT. We're gonna be doing some DLRs installs on that one there. So I'm gonna keep y'all posted as y'all get to see the overlay install, what this charger could come out like and what can happen with that one. Yeah, the first thing we have to do is we have to debadge it. So you see all this resin that's left back here from the Dodge symbol that's in the car. We just removed the letter, but now we gotta get this really clean, perfect to get it done. So you're gonna get some, uh, basically some adhesive remover that we have to be able to get that uh, removed and start the install on this beautiful overlay install. It actually look really good, guys, but I'm gonna walk you through the whole process of doing this overlay. So the first thing we did was remove the letters. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean the uh, surface background, and then we're gonna go doing the install of these overlays. So stay tuned and watch this build. Let me remove that. Now you can see wiping on the surface with this chemical that we have. It's like an acid, but not really an acid. It's made from plastic to remove adhesive. And we get a nice clean shine, as y'all can see across the board. That can allow us to have the proper surface to be able to do the installation of these adhesions uh, of these overlays. I'm gonna show y'all exactly what the overlay gonna look like. In fact, grab the overlay and show them what we're gonna be working with right now. Hold on, y'all. Let me show y'all. So look at the overlay he has. As you can see here, it's gonna be pretty much installed like that. So now we have to go and get it all measured up and taped up to get this install done to make it look uh, the way it has to. So I'm gonna get in the process right now of getting this going, y'all. Already wiped, so we've already wiped down the surfaces at this point in time. Now we gotta get the alignment done and where we wanna get this installed. So you can notice, oops, whoops. You can notice here, there's a curvature on both sides. So we gotta make sure we get it to be proper on both sides. Align on both sides. So right now, I'll see that where it's gonna be. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Gordon put a piece of tape in the middle to, su to support the, the letters that we're doing. And now at this point in time, now it's gonna be secure where we need it to be. So what I'm gonna come is I'm gonna remove one side of the unit. I'm gonna come and grab some mix that we have. It's basically a water and a little soap solution to put it on the area we need to and start the removal of the back side, which is the paper to get this overlay ready to go and get it installed. It's like a basically, uh, pretty simple, man, but I say it takes practice to get it right. So at this point in time, boom, I cut this off. And now what the soapy solution allowed me to do is be able to move it when I got it on the car, move it to where I like the location to be. So I have a couple seconds to be able to get it to where I want it to be. Once I have it in location, I kind of just do it with my hands Get it where I want it. And then I have a special squeegee with a felt on it. It allows it not to scratch the, the, the material itself. Even though right now we're still dealing with the paper, the protection in the background, it allows me to get it done. Oops. So we got this all here coming in. And then we notice here we have the little button that we're having a problem with. We're gonna deal with that at the end of the build. But once we get this going, now what I need to do is get my heat gun and start to get this place, this plastic put into place. So right now that's the first process, stay tuned, I'll show you guys the rest. So now I got my heat gun here in my hand, I'll make sure I got the proper heat. What I start to do is I start to dry out the surface a little bit, because I already got it pretty much located where I want it to be. I start getting this thing to be able to come into its location and just start getting it kind of like a dry out with the heat gun. So you don't want to burn it too much, you're kind of gonna uh, apply heat to the temperature of the area, the plastic area, and just get it to kind of start to stick. And once you're doing this, you're also gonna be hitting it at the same time with the squeegee now. Kind of keep it in the angles. Y'all 
bringing my head up right here, which I'm gonna deal with in a minute. All right, so now that I got that going on, I'm gonna grab my gun. I'm still gonna leave it on because I need the heat. I'm gonna begin to remove the tape that's on top of the graphic itself. This work gets a little tricky now. You kind of want to slide it out like this, like you see me doing here. But what it allows me to do is to be able to get, get off the material from the tapey area. And I'm gonna go back and re-squeeze it in a minute, but right now I'm just trying to get it all aligned and circus, um, you know, situated here, guys. So it is a little tricky, but once you get it going, you should be okay with the bill. You see that star came out? Have to take your time. Take your time. Don't rush it. Just take your time. You kind of come out flat like this. As you keep on coming through, you should be having success. Now here, I'm gonna come at this point out with that section there. I'll apply some heat to it. And start mashing it down. Make sure that everything is sticking the way that I want it to stick. Once I got that done, just continue coming down here. She's just lifting up there, you gotta be careful. A little bit of heat right there. Slowly, very lightly, guys. Patience is the key here. Once I get to my point, I put my tape off here. And then, now I'll start heating up the whole board area so that it gets nice and hot and allows the confirmation to stick to happen and get it going, guys. So, give me a second, y'all. We're gonna keep on getting this here. Just start squeezing all my stuff in. Make sure that everything is the way I want it to be. Line down. Now here's where the little button is that starts the vehicle. In a few, I'm about to cut that out. I don't know if I want to cut it out or not. If I can get it to get really edged up and make it perfect here like I want it to be, then maybe I'll leave it. But I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit, get some heat onto it, and see if I can just keep that button so it doesn't lose the design of the light. At this point in time, I'm actually gonna come here to the other side, wet it up the same way. Not too much, just a little bit, and then Come in now, I can pull this here and get this all separated from here. Same process in reverse. Oh, you see the little star came out? You gotta kinda prick it in and... Easier to reverse, to be honest with you. So after we remove the backing on the second side, we're now applying the heat again to be able to get it done and start to do the tape removal on this side also as well, guys. So very careful, you can see it starts to pull up. 
Some people like to do it in the drive, man. I do it the wet because I like to have the mobility of the stickers on it, man. So I'll begin to get it out slowly by slowly, grabbing my thing here and just following it through. Move it where I want it. You see, that's what the water does. It allows me to put it where I want to and then get the heat. I can do what I need to do to get it where I want it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and apply heat to this whole area here. So the water we use is actually like a soapy water type content, but it also has alcohol in it, which allows it to do a quick dry. But there's a, there's a formula that we use here. And make sure we have the proper adhesion of everything. Alrighty. Heat it all up here. I'm gonna have to get it to move what I need to move. Get it to adjust the way I want to get it adjusted before the final take goes down. So I can apply the heat. The heat basically dissolving the alcohol water in the background that allows it to be able to do the final sticking on. Then we let it dry up and should be ready to go in a minute. Stay tuned. I'll show you when I get done with this. So I got so I got the last side in now I'm squeezing it all down making sure everything's nice and flat and I should be able to remove the tape pretty good like I said from side to side just very slowly very slowly lift it up there a little bit very slowly very slowly you see that the center out. Now you have these edges here. What I do now, I go and I lift up the trunk and I do the edges, I'll show you right now. So now I come and I get these edges here pressed in on both sides. Gordo's doing the same thing over there. Make sure that everything looks good. And I bring it down, apply a light coat of heat on everything. I get my fighting on squeegee and we should be ready to go sign to deliver on this right here. Mm. 
This one here, side seal delivered, y'all. So we're gonna get the reaction from the customer now. Let me turn this off here. Get a, get a reaction from the customer now. We get this installed. We'll be right back with y'all in a minute. We got a, we got a young guy named Carlos, man. How old are you, man? 22. 22 years old, man. We're, we're about to do a remote start add-on to his vehicle. Um, and I asked him if he had the most important part for his car. So how long do you own this car? About a year now. About a year now. Mm -hmm. And you don't have a fallopian tube for the car? What do you use your car for? Transport you or, or is it like a toy you enjoy? Transport. You don't have no fun with your car? Mm, yeah. You don't go hang out in your car? You go on, are you married, man? How many no, miles? Do you, do you, how many miles do you got in that car? 46, 47. Okay. Do you go on dates? Yeah. You go boys or girls? What? I'm only asking because nowadays girls. you gotta ask. Hey, you girls. go with girls. <laughs> how many days have you been in that car? Mm, no, no, no joke. But, no, no, how, how many, many days? How many days have you been on? How many car? How many days has that car been on? How many times? Oh, days. Said, Hi, I'm I'm take a car. I'm going to you hopefully. Maybe like 15. 15 days. 15 days, okay. Guy, I got a question for you. He's gone on 15 days in his car. He's had a car for a year and he don't know what a fallopian tube is. What are you thinking, boss? Do you know what a fallopian tube is? Okay, you don't know what a fallopian tube is? Do you know what a fallopian tube is? How old are you, man? 26. 26, okay. Are you date? You married? You get on date. You, you, he decided to save his money. He's saving his money. He, he's, he's very smart. <laughs> you gotta get married before you hit 30, just know that. A fallopian tube, grab your phone, go to Google. You need to learn this, it's very important. Hey, where did you go to school at? That's a good question. Here we have. Yeah, of course. Ah. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Look up fallopian tube. <laughs> That's the most important part for your car. Especially if you're dating. You know, <laughs> have you looked it up yet? I'm talking about this car? That's a fallopian yeah, tube. For so cars? Yeah, bro, you, we asked you if you're dating on your car. You oh. said you have 15 dates, and yet you have no fallopian tube on your car. <laughs> what do we got to say about this? <laughs> bro, Carlos, what you want to tell the camera today? My dog, I was confused. I did not know what he meant by that. Quick. We should open up a show called Punked on Audio Zone. <laughs> <laughs> just said you got punked. But yeah, we're about to get this remote start installed. This is a good unit that allows us to be able to install a remote start to a factory system so he could be able to use his factory key fob and do the remote start from the key fob. Uh, I'm gonna bring the car in the back and I'll continue that with a minute. But I'm gonna go turn in the charger to the customer uh, that we did the overlay for and get his reaction to the camera. But we'll continue with you in a few minutes. I found you. I already gave you a picture of his Instagram. Yeah. Tell everybody why you wanted to get that charger. Hey man, I started with the V6. Pulled down to the Hemi, you know what I'm saying? The Daytona at that. Yeah, they, yeah I always wanted the Daytona. So. Well, your overlays are done. They're installed. Yeah, that's just making it like, hey, man. That's just making Well, I mean, you know what? A car is just a car until it's unique. Now you need to get a little frame here. Um, and make it look good, but your cars, your cars coming together, man. We all want to tell you thank you truthfully for the for the chance of serving you, man. We've done some. What else have we did to this car? I know it's been here before. Oh, oh shit, y'all come on. Oh. All the down, the down thing you see, the down forces. We did all that on, on that. I remember, I remember yeah. the car now. No. Well, this is Smiley 345, man. We're about to deliver his car. He'll be on the road. We'll continue with the rest of the builds in the shop today, guys.